So as you guys can see, and as you guys can tell by the title, Danny Swift Garcia versus Jose Benavides. It's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, fight's taking place on the 30th of July, July 30, 2022. Live over at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, USA. To be shown live on Showtime. So tune into Showtime on the 30th of July if you want to see this fight. So um, so yeah, uh, Danny Garcia versus Jose Benavidez. No surprise that this fight has been officially announced. Uh, sometime within the past week or two. Uh, there were reports, multiple reports, stating that this an agreement has been made between two fighters to fight each other this summer. So uh, no surprise that it's you know actually happening. Um, <laughs> my younger brother, he he got a little too excited for this one uh, because he thought that Danny Garcia was fighting the uh, the younger Benavides, David Benavides. When I told him that it's a different Benavides. It's the uh, older one, the one that got shot and has one leg. Uh, he uh, <laughs> he realized like, oh shoot, I forgot. Like he forgot that there were two, there were two of Benavides. Uh, Jose Benavides, I would say his biggest fight was obviously against Terence Crawford. End up getting knocked out by Terence Crawford. Uh, since then, if you guys don't know, Benavides hasn't really done much. He he fought once last year, and he arguably lost that fight against Francisco Emmanuel Torres. And um, and yeah, he he has just been inactive for the past few years, and um, Danny Garcia he too has been inactive. Danny Garcia hasn't fought since he lost to Errol Spence back in December of 2020. It's been two years, basically, uh, a year and a half, uh, since he last fought. So, you know, it's uh. The inactivity is there for both guys, for sure, especially Jose Benavidez. I mean, I know Benavidez fought last year, but, you know, if you take into consideration, they only fought once in the past few years. Yeah, both fighters, basically both fighters have been very inactive. And it's crazy because Danny Garcia hasn't fought in more than a year, and yet, you know, the uh, WBC has him still ranked at number seven. Mm. <laughs> uh, normally, after such a long inactivity, uh sanctioning bodies would take them out of the rankings but uh, they decided to keep Danny Garcia in the rankings anyway I, it's not a bad fight for Danny Garcia to come back at uh, to for his first fight at 154 pounds if you guys don't know he's moving up and wait for this fight um, I, I still believe it's not a bad fight um, you know I, I'd prefer if Jose Benavidez didn't get shot actually Benavidez was a very good fighter before he got shot in the leg but after getting shot in the leg, you can clearly tell that he only has one leg now. That the other leg, uh, the, the shot leg is not the same. So, so yeah, should be interesting. Should be interesting. Looking forward to it. Again, Barclay Center, Brooklyn, New York. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.